Today we're going to be taking a look at what I think are the top 10 LEGO Star Wars sets based off of the planet Geonosis. Y'all really liked my last video where I did the top 10 sets based off of Kashyyyk, and Geonosis was the planet that most of you guys wanted me to do next, so here we are. If you're new, please consider subscribing, and without further ado, let's hop into the honorable mentions. The first honorable mention I have, or I guess you could say the 13th spot, is 7670 Hellfire Droid and Spider Droid. This set was released all the way back in 2008 with 249 pieces and a retail price of 20 US dollars, and getting all of this for $20 was such a great deal back in 2008. It was kind of actually like the droids version of a super battle pack, although the Hellfire droid doesn't look the best, but overall it's still a great set and I think it deserves to be mentioned. The next honorable mention I have, or I guess the 12th spot, is 7959 Geonosian Starfighter. This set was released back in 2011 with 155 pieces and a retail price of $30, which was pretty pricey for 2011. And honestly, I think the Geonosian Starfighter is pretty much perfect. I don't think they could have done a better job. I just think $30 was a bit much for 2011. 2011, I think 25 would have been better. And also, it has kind of a weird minifigure lineup. I mean, obviously, it needs the Geonosian pilot, but I feel like Commander Cody was kind of just thrown in here. I mean, I know everyone loves Commander Cody, but I feel like the lineup would have felt a little bit more complete if it just had a regular clone trooper. And then the last honorable mention I have before we get to the top 10 is 40558 Clone Trooper Command Station. This set was released back in 2022 with 66 pieces and a retail price of $15. And as you guys know, this set was notorious for being very, very hard to to find because it was a LEGO store exclusive, and making a cheap clone trooper minifigure pack of really great looking clone troopers and exclusive set is not the greatest idea, because obviously everyone wanted to army build with this set, and since it was hard to find, every time someone found one, they would just immediately buy them all out. So yeah, it was definitely a big mistake on LEGO's part by making this exclusive, because this really was a perfect army builder, and that's the reason it made the honorable mentions. I almost put it in the top 10, but since it's just a minifigure pack and just has little builds, I thought it'd be best just to leave it as the best honorable mention, but still, like I was saying, it was an incredible army builder, and I feel like LEGO kind of just sold with its potential, but exclusivity and bad things aside, you guys can't really deny that this is one of the best clone army builders we've ever gotten. Now moving on to the official top 10, at the number 10 spot, I have 7681 Separatist Spider Droid. This set was released back in 2008 with 206 pieces and a retail price of 30 US dollars, and today, if you want it new, it's going for around $450, and the reason for that is because it includes that exclusive command Fox minifigure, which is actually valued at around $200 on its own. As some of you might know, this is the only Phase 1 Commander Fox that LEGO has ever made, and he's actually the main reason as to why this set made the number 10 spot, because he just looks so awesome, and he definitely looks a lot better than the Phase 2 Commander Fox that we got last year. The Spider Droid also looks really good for 2008 too. Obviously, it doesn't hold up with the other two Spider Droids that we've gotten since, because its head had a different design, but still for 2008, this was a great set with great minifigures and a great price. Continue Continuing on the trend with spider droids, at the number 9 spot, I have 75016 Homing Spider Droid. This set was released back in 2013 with 295 pieces and a retail price of 30 US dollars, and today it's currently going for around 150 to 200 dollars. Now, I mean, obviously, based on this set's head shape, you can see it's definitely an upgrade from the last spider droid I just talked about. I think this set right here is when LEGO really did perfect the craft of how they make spider droids, and I honestly don't think they could really do much better from now on, unless they design some type of new piece to just make it look more accurate, but as of now, this is a great design. The set also included a dwarf spider droid unlike the last one, and you get an exclusive Stas Ali minifigure, what could you not like? On to the number 8 spot, this one might be a bit controversial, but I have 4482 ATT. This set was released all the way back in 2003 with 658 pieces and a retail price of 70 US dollars, and if you want it new today, it's currently going for around 7 to 800 dollars. Now don't get me wrong, I know this set is very iconic because it was the very first model of one of our favorite Star Wars vehicles. Vehicles. And on top of that, you get four of those awesome OG Phase 1 clone troopers that are some of my favorite clone troopers LEGO has ever made. But if any of you guys have actually seen this ATTE, you know it's kind of ugly. Really, the main problem is that the legs are too short and it's just a little bit elongated and a little bit too flat. And you might be thinking, oh, well, it was 2003, they did the best they could. But honestly, no, I don't think they did the best they could for 2003. I think they definitely could have made the legs a bit longer and the overall body just not as flat. But still, I gave it the number eight spot because it's very iconic and it includes a good number of those awesome OG clone troopers. On to the number 7 spot, I have 75015 Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. This set was released back in 2013 with 271 pieces and a retail price of $20, and today it's going for around $200 because of that exclusive Jango Fett minifigure, but besides him, I think this set is great. It's the best tank droid that LEGO has made, and I mean for $20, this was a great deal. You get three awesome minifigures as well as an awesome build. I mean, I don't think they could have done any better. 
Moving on to the number 6 spot, I have 4478 Gene Ocean Fighter. This set was released all the way back in 2003 with 170 pieces and a retail price of $20, and today it's currently going for around $200 to $300. Now, objectively speaking, the Starfighter design in this set is not as good as the Starfighter design from 2011. However, this set is just way more complete. You get four minifigures as well as a Gene Ocean cannon, and the minifigures are some of the coolest ones to come out in 2003, being the two Gene Oceans and the Sand Red Battle Droids. It was overall just a more complete set for only $20, and I think it definitely deserves the number 6 spot. Coming in at the number 5 spot, I have what is in my opinion one of the most underrated LEGO Star Wars sets of all time, being 4481 Hailfire Droid. This set was released all the way back in 2003 with 681 pieces and a retail price of $50, US dollars, and today it's currently going for around $250. Now, I'm definitely not the biggest fan of Technic sets, but I can't deny that this set just looks incredible. For 2003, this thing was outstanding, and honestly, it's kind of the closest thing to a UCS Hellfire droid that we've ever gotten. It really is a great set, and like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Technic, but if I was going to get a Technic set, it would definitely be this one. Moving on to the number 4 spots, I have 75019 ATTE. This set was released back in 2013 with 794 pieces and a retail price of 90 US dollars, and if you want it new today, it's currently going for around $300. Now at the time, this was the best ATTE that LEGO had ever made. It was definitely a significant upgrade from the 2008 model. My only problem with the set as a whole is I definitely think it could have came with more minifigures. I mean, you're only getting five figures for $90. I think it would have been really easy for LEGO to throw in an extra clone trooper or maybe even two. But other than that, I think this set is incredible and at the time, it was the best ATTE that LEGO had ever made. Making our way into the top three, at the number three spots, I have 7163 Republic Gunship. This set was released all the way back in 2002 with 686 pieces and a retail price of $90 US dollars and today in 2024, it's currently going for just over $1,000. Now, unlike the ATTE that released right after this set, I think LEGO definitely did the best job they could here. The model definitely does have its flaws, especially if you look at it directly from the side, you can see the back end is kind of stretched out a bit. But other than that, for 2002, this was very, very impressive, and it's a very, very iconic set, as it was the very first Republic gunship, obviously. And on top of that, the minifigure lineup is basically as complete as you can get. You have four clone troopers, two to pilot it, two to sit inside, as well as the infamous Jedi Bob and the infamous blue battle droids. Now making our way into the top two, I'm pretty sure you guys know the only two sets that are left, and what might come as a surprise to some of you guys, at the number two spot, I have a set that you guys probably thought was going to be number one, which is 10195 Republic Dropship with ATOT. This set was released back in May of 2009 with 1,758 pieces and a retail price of $250, making it one of the biggest play sets we have ever seen. And if you want it new today, it's currently going for around $1,800 to $2,500. It's a big range, but I mean, just know if you want this set sealed, you're going to be paying thousands of dollars. And I mean, for good reason, because this thing is absolutely insane. It's probably the most iconic and sought after Clone Wars set ever made, and that's really just because of how unique it is. The dropship is absolutely incredible. It's a massive model that I think would easily hold up today in 2024, and the AT for 2009 was really good as well. And as much as I love this set and know how iconic it is and how sought after it is, I have to make these lists as objective as possible. And the sad reality is that the ATOT kind of holds this set back. And like I said, I think the dropship would hold up today in 2024, but I don't think the ATOT would. So sadly, that's why I had to put this at the number two spot. So then that leaves the number one spot to 75021 Republic Gunship. This set was released back in 2000. 2013 with 1,175 pieces and a retail price of $120, and today it's currently going for around $600. And I mean, like I said, as big as my bias is for the Republic dropship, this set definitely deserves the number one spot because it really is the perfect gunship. I mean, I don't think LEGO could have made this any better. It's very sleek, and the proportions on it are perfect, and it's also just a really big set that's fun to play with. Again, I don't think they could have made the actual model any better, but there is one small thing thing about this set that will probably always annoy me, and that is that for some reason it doesn't include two pilots. I mean, I definitely think this set should have had an extra pilot instead of the clone captain, but even that's still pretty lame. I don't think it would have hurt LEGO at all to throw in an extra clone pilot on top of the minifigures that are already here. So I mean, like I said, that is probably always going to annoy me with this set, but other than that, I think it's absolutely perfect. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this list down in the comments below. If you're new, please consider subscribing.
subscribing. And if you want to check out more of my videos, you can see them on the end screen right now.